Hey y'all, welcome back to the Southern Cottage. I am Connie and y'all, I am finally back in my daggum craft room. It has been crazy. So, my poor cart for my Cricut is a little worse for wear. It's wobbly being moved around a lot. I had this that I bought for cookie classes it's not big enough really on top for me to demonstrate on anymore. So I am going to transfer all of my Cricut stuff into this, put my Cricut on top. This is a Husky toolbox and I've cleaned it up. It was outside for a little while, but it is ready to go. So I'm going to try and fit. I know I'll be able to fit it all, but I'm going to try and get as much as I can and leave some extra space for some other things. So, I still want my Cricut to be, what is holding me down here? Let me move the joy. I still want it to be movable because y'all, there's not enough room in this craft room. I actually contemplated completely redoing it, but I don't think it's gonna work. So, I don't know. I'm just gonna have to do what I can do with what I've got and pray that I can get through this homecoming season without too much problems. I don't know what half of this stuff is on here, so let me just get it out of the way. I don't remember if I showed y'all, but I bought these feet for the bottom of my Cricut on Amazon. It should be in my Amazon storefront. That puts it up really high, which is kind of good. I think I'm going to like that. And then, let me make sure the cords are not messed up. Turn me loose. There we go. I'll situate those in a minute. I have some more of my pegboard stuff. I might put some of those on the side to hang some tools on. We shall see. So, how am I gonna organize this? I did take all of my Dollar Tree vinyl out of here because it's really not good to, uh, to use in the Cricut. So, all I have in here is my Cricut vinyl and the sizer and stuff like that. So, <clears throat> I'm just going to start transferring some of this stuff over. I think I'm going to take all of my Cricut scissors out of here, except for that one, and put them over there. I might, let me think. I have enough space on those pegboards that I can probably hang up a lot of my tools. Let me just do that. That way I can have all of my stuff together. Most of this has the holes in it. <clears throat> They don't have to be in here with the Cricut. I mean, I can use them for other things. That's heat resistant tape. I have some more of that over there. I need to get a tape dispenser specifically for the heat resistant tape. My Cricut tweezers. This does not have That had a hole in it. I don't know what I'm going to do with that just yet. I will come back and, and, and deal with that in a minute. These are my blades that I got from Timu. And they're all color coded. As to whether they're deep cut or whatever. So I am going to put those all back in here. I have a lot of plastic stuff 
um, containers that I can put in here to kind of keep stuff separated. But for now, I'm just going to put everything in here. These are the screws that came out of the bottom of my Cricut and the little rubber feet. I'm gonna go ahead and keep those just in case I need to uh, put them back in. So let me put these over here. <clears throat> One more. Tools over here, pins over here. Once I get everything in here situated, you can come closer and see. I have a lot of pins. I've never used the pins. And these are all of my booklets. And I have the booklets for my Cricut, my hat press and my mug press. I may put all of those things in here as well. They're actually underneath here. So that is two drawers down. The second drawer is shallow. I think I'm gonna put all of my transfer tape in here. There might be space for other things depending on what I've got. These are my pieces because I keep pieces and I reuse them. All right. I might do some flipping and flopping with some of this stuff. That is, maybe I keep the iron on together. That's vinyl. That's iron on, that's iron on, that's iron on. And this is Dollar Tree stuff. I don't know what I'm doing with that yet, so I'm just going to leave it right there. Iron on. Iron on. That is foil. That is not iron on. Not. This is iron on. And this is iron on. That's not going to stay like that, but we're going to try. Not iron on. That foil, that goes with this. I'm going to keep that with it because it tells you the temperature <clears throat> just in case. I can't tell if this is, nope, that's permanent vinyl. All right. Here's some more iron on. I think I want to put something in here to keep my scraps contained because I do have a lot of iron on scraps. any more iron on in here but we shall see did we put what did we put in here let's transfer tape yep iron on okay y'all i have way more stuff I might need to move this down because I'm not going to be able to stack. Yeah, I'm going to have more than what's going to fit in this drawer. So let me move down to a larger drawer. Let me move you a little bit closer. Okay. Open and that is open. At least this way I'll be able to get all of my iron on in together. Keep 
keep the open stuff right here. All right, this is all infusible ink. Let's put the infusible ink because I know I have less of that. Infusible. I didn't buy these infusible inks on purpose because uh, they came with my joy, I believe. Infusible. And this is permanent vinyl. Yep. transfer tape and this is the back end for the transfer because I many I use this whenever I make my cutouts. Alright, what's next? These are both infusible a lot of infusible. I didn't realize I had that much. This goes down here. I think the rest is the permanent vinyl. Let me go ahead and get all that in here. Oh, I'm hitting the table. Yeah, permanent vinyl. And these are fitting in here perfectly. <clears throat> With room to grow. Like I need more stuff. <laughs> oh my word. All right, that's vinyl scraps. I need a different place for that. None of this is iron on. That's iron on. Yeah. This is iron on. And so are these. <clears throat> Get the other one. I got those on clearance at Walmart. This is not iron on. And neither is that one. Okay, I have way less vinyl than what I thought. Okay. The regular... What is this? <clears throat> okay, now I gotta do the scraps. Let me figure out what I'm going to do with that and I'll be right back. Okay, I wanted to get all of my vinyl in here, but it's not going to fit. So I'm going to leave it like it is for now. Uh, this bottom drawer is all just the regular permanent vinyl. This drawer is all of my iron on. I did put my scraps in one of these. This is all the infusible ink. I've got room to grow in all of these drawers. Transfer tape. And then miscellaneous pens, tools, things like that. Um, I am going to put my books up here. The rest of my heat tape. Let me go ahead and put that in here now. 
because there's no need to not have it. And let me see. I might. No, I'm not going to get my. Uh, I'm not going to fit my mini heat press in here. Yeah. I do have a lot of silicone for um for my mug press. I haven't used it yet, y'all. I need to. I want to get as much in here as I can. Um, my joy mats. Those don't have holes in them. I can punch holes in them if I want to. Not doing that right this minute. My cup holder for transferring. And I think that is it for this one. So tools, pins, all kinds of stuff. I do have my silicone mats. And my heat resistant gloves to be able to pull things out of all of my heaters, y'all. Heaters. Okay. I think that is it. I'm going to try to finish rearranging this craft room and get it to where I can work in it. Um, because it hasn't really been touched since mom camp. Yeah. All right, y'all. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to try and film another video today right after this one. So hopefully we can get these back on track. Um, if you're not subscribed, please do so. Click the bell so you're notified every time that I upload or that I go live. Thank y'all. I'll see you soon. Bye.